Okay, so let's see what does the minimalist do for retirement? That was a question from, I don't have my phone with me right now, but I'll put his name uh, over here, maybe over here, maybe down there. Uh, so he asked the question, as a minimalist, what do you, what are your, how do you plan for retirement? And I, the simple question is, I don't plan for retirement. I plan for the life I'm living now because I don't know what I'm going to be doing in, well, I'm 45, so I don't know what I'm going to be doing in 30 years when maybe it's time to retire. Um, do I even want to retire in 30 years? What does that even mean? Uh, I want to keep living life till I die. I want to live life till I die. I don't want to, and you know, I understand I was in the corporate world. I had 401ks. I had um, the uh, Roth IRAs and all that stuff. And they all got cashed in when it was time to start living my life for real. And so uh, what do I do? I'm going to live my life today and um, build today so that tomorrow can be good. And I can't think about what's going to happen in 30 years. To plan for 30 years from now, to me, is insanity. To you, I'm not saying that. That is your journey. For me, it, it just doesn't make any sense to say, in 30 years, I will have X amount of money so that I can sit around or I can golf or I don't have to work anymore. Um, I have a story, my mom, a wonderful person. She is such a hard worker. She loves to work. Like she is, loves to be at a job and she loves to be around people. And she's about ready to retire. She's gonna retire next year and she kind of talks about it like she's glad and then she's like, I'm not sure and I'm like, Mom, what are you going to do when you retire? I don't know. But I deserve I, I deserve to retire. She's super healthy. She eats great. You know, she cooks all her own food. She's a very healthy person. And it's like, I'm like, why don't you travel? And she goes, I'd love to travel. But a single woman can't travel alone. And I'm like, why not? Well, there's so many men out there and it's someone could attack me. And it's like, holy crap, you're 65 years old. Go and live life now. You've, 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 You've done the whole work thing. Go and explore. People don't want to attack a 65-year-old woman. Like, why would they? They don't want to attack a 40-year-old woman. That's just your fear talking. Go enjoy it. Oh, no. Well, I might take a visit to visit my grandchildren or something, but... And it's like, oh, my gosh. But she, she doesn't want to do that because she's not sure what it's going to be like. And, and, like, she really likes to be around people. And it's like, I'm like, well, Mom, what are you going to do? Sit around and watch PBS? Like she doesn't have a computer, she doesn't get on the internet, she doesn't have a smartphone, um, she doesn't have cable, she just watches PBS and you know, Dancing with the Stars and stuff. And so, I'm like, so for, like, like the thing is, okay, retire, you're gonna retire. Um, and, and like to, and, and for her to answer that, she doesn't have any answer to what she's actually gonna do when she retires. Um, what she's gonna do because she's a full of life vigorous person. Hey Bob! <laughs> There's a friend of mine, he's walking by. Um, I'm, off a, I'm off on a walking path here and uh, and anyway so and uh, there's another example great guy you know what's he gonna do when he retires you know why even think about retiring he's only 60 something why are you thinking about what you're going to do when you stop living? Start thinking about what you're going to do now and go live it to its fullest. And so at 45, I'm done thinking about retirement. When I was 18 years old, I started an IRA. I, started, I, put 2000, I saved up all my money, put $2,000 in an IRA so I could save for retirement at 18. How crazy is that? I wasn't thinking about all the fun stuff I could do. You know, it just didn't make any sense. And I'd saved up like $20,000 by the time I was in my 30s. I, did, I didn't put as much as I should. I had thirty or 40000 in there. And uh, that's not too bad. You can do something with that. Well, then what happens? The, the market drug crashes and all that stuff. And it went from like thirty or 40000 to like ten or 15000 I lost all that money. But I didn't really lose it because I never had it. It's all in numbers in a computer. I had $2,000 when I gave it to them. And had I pulled the money out at 40000 I would have it. But when all that money went away, that was just potential money. It wasn't real money. 
And when I finally took my stocks out, when I finally couldn't do it anymore and it was down to like $7,000, it was worth $7,000. All that 40000 I may have had, it wasn't real. What's real is what's in my hand, what I can spend. And so it's just, I don't even deal with that anymore. Forget that stuff. I mean, I'd rather be working at, as a greeter at Walmart when I'm 70 than sitting around a house waiting to die or not losing my brain and then I get, uh, you know, or I'd rather go have an adventure and get and, and die out on, at, at age 60, hiking up a trail and die from falling off a cliff. I mean, I'd much rather do that than, than be 75 sitting in a nursing home just living my life out, not being productive or useful or living a full life. So what does a minimalist do for retirement? He goes and lives his life to the fullest so when he's on his deathbed, so when I'm on my deathbed somewhere, I can look back at a full life that I really experienced and I can be glad to have lived. Go live your life. Save for the future if you want, but go live your life today and live every moment to the best that you can. All right, everybody, enjoy this day.